Hi everyone, I found uh, another uh, clock here which I've had for some years now just hanging around. Uh, it's a pendulum one actually, it's amazing. So if I put the battery in, in this one, pendulum should work if I pause it first by itself. As you can see it's moving by itself so it's, that's amazing um when i say that is because you know we we build pendulum stuff and things like that and here you can get one of these pieces for near nothing and make your own pendulum it just swings around and around so there's a magnet there and obviously the coil must be under there so i'm going to investigate and see what happens so let me see now this pendulum yeah, if I put it, if I put the battery backwards, I wonder what happens, if anything at all. No difference. It still, it still uh, swings. Not as much. Oh dear, it's not swinging as much. In fact, okay. So the battery has to go one way. I think. That looks a bit. Yeah, the battery has to go one way. Okay, it, uh, it's got a very tiny screw there, which I'm taking off. And also what I've noticed is this has got to stop, so it can only swing so far. I didn't realize that before. Okay, once I flip these open, it comes off. But then, I don't know how this is connected on here. It's still kind of stuck there. So this just flips out from the end there and pushed it out. It hooks onto this thing here. So this is the clock. Right, let's have a look. There's your rotor there. Your circuitry. This is interesting now. The circuitry is is quite uh, large. It's outside of the uh, the blob that they put on. There's a coil there. So there's a there's a, a gear just flipped out somewhere from there right there the coil is there which obviously is energized probably at the same time as this and makes it swing so there's a magnet a magnet on here as it swings around it pulls it and yeah it's a pulse it has to be a pulse circuit to make it go back and forth so that's that's what it is now i'm going to take it apart I think but before I do I'd like to just have a look at this part section to see how it goes so every every second is going but I can't see it how it's going So I'm going to put a mark on it.
I think it's going clockwise. I mean, uh, anti-clockwise. It's not going back and forth. That's what I think. Yeah, definitely. Definitely going one way. So I thought it was, I don't know, going back and forth. But anyway, this is what's happening with this. So here we got a lovely coil there. We've got another coil there. I've got a different circuitry to uh, pulsate this as well. So maybe more, more powerful circuitry. You've got a transistor there, you see. So you've got more powerful circuitry to work this coil as well as this lovely coil here. We could take this coil out and make a pendulum itself, but why spoil it? It's a beautiful uh, machinery indeed. I'm going to take that out and have a look a bit more closer. And, and I want to put this all back together again because I like the way it is. I don't want to really break it up if I can help it. Yeah, that's good. I don't really want to destroy the bottom part here, all the gearboxes. So that's what it is. There you go. It's not even got a, oh, it's still got a blob on it there. Still got the blob on it there. There's your, there's your crystal, as they say, connected nicely. So there's your circuitry. I don't know much about the circuitry, I'm afraid but um, it's a beautiful design indeed so with that i want to say to you thank you for watching um because this is a pendulum pendulum clock i'm going to try and get the other clock which i took apart and see if i can make a pendulum out of that uh, circuitry out of that i took this pendulum off here and i thought let me have a look at this um coil there. Now what I've done is I've got two magnets here, very small, so the polarity is all over the place and I put them onto, onto um, a string. Oh, let me put the battery in first. But the problem with this now is because it can stick to the battery here. When I put this, this there's two magnets on here, they're very small. But when I put them here they go weird. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Try and hold it as close as I can. So guys, I put a bigger magnet on there. A bit more on the flat side. Like that. I see so. But uh, it does it does do a pendulum pendulum movement here. And it also does that. <laughs> well, it does do a pendulum movement, as you can see. Right. So, yeah, um, I'm thinking uh, the transistors then in there, because when I put this the opposite way around, it wasn't moving as much. I'm thinking the transistors make sure it, the polarity is one way, because I did see on the circuit board positive and negative there. So, okay guys, I've, um, I have stripped, uh, stripped it apart a little bit there. I took the whole thing out of his casing. I was just, I was just uh, temporarily hooked up a positive and negative there where the battery goes. And um, what, what I'm going to do now is just have a little test of it. So I put a negative on a negative lead oh, on this side here. And I want to know what voltage went to the coil, the coil is connected across there, these two of the coil. So if I put this to there, it's showing about half a volt or so. Right? And there. Same thing. Now there's a transistor there and um, there's three three leads to this coil. So don't ask me how that's connected or how it works, but obviously uh, one might be a trigger or something because that's connected to the middle one that's going to the middle one and there as well and the other two might be so it might it, this this unit might be actually uh 
setting this call on and off and if you know better please let me know but uh, the voltage across here is interesting it's one point say nearly five so this is 1.5 1.6 kind of voltage there which is quite interesting because um, I didn't realize that the voltage increased there but well, it wasn't so powerful on here so that's my little experiment there I've had a look at it um, the the thing to note is that the coil is independent of the clock itself in other words it doesn't move uh, as the clock moves it just swings uh, whatever whatever uh, time it takes to swing it's not every second or anything like that so the clock is on its own this is on its own as well so I just thought we'd, we'd just have a little look at that and that was interesting and uh, positive goes to here as well so that tells you one point one point five something like that so what we, what we find out is that it, the, the, the thing rotates I'll put it on slow motion for you to see it rotating Okay, I'm really confused now while trying to put this clock back together. This is moving just slightly and I can see it's moving backwards and forwards. So I'm not sure exactly how the movements are working here. So if anybody knows, please leave a comment. So that's definitely showing back and forward movement there. So guys, in conclusion, I'm not sure if it's going back and forth or going in a circle but certainly looks like there's a reverse polarity going in so it's going back and forth that way but uh, when you put it all together again it looks like um, it's going round again so yeah i would like somebody to invite me on this this particular thing thank you very much for watching take care bye